another Sinister Snacks. I'm your host, Laura. I'm Joel. And we are the Newly Dads. We are. And I'm excited. Joel is scared. Because he bought me as a present, uh, yeah, a, a delicious hot sauce. It is uh, Steve-O's hot sauce. And the reason he bought it is because we went on a kick of watching... We on my by one of my podcasts we're going on fourteen. Mm-hmm. We did a show on the new Jackass movie and the original series, and then we were watching a Gordon Ramsay video with yes Steve O, yes. and he was he was pimping this hot sauce and having Gordon try it while they made like an egg, and then he poured it in his thing. eye because you know that's what said his eye does. hadn't tasted it. So uh, it's the thing with it that he was promoting on the thing was that. Along with the other seasoning, it's like a lot of it is has to do with carrots, which a carrot is like, I don't know. Eh, it's pretty high up on the list. The it's third like or water fourth primary season, season. Chili peppers and carrot. And then, yeah. But the, he has other ones besides this. This is just like the baseline one. There's one called the Destroyer. And I think somebody else was telling me there's another one or two that he's released. But uh, Gordon actually spoke highly of it. The reviews on, on Amazon yeah, are really high. Sweet, kind of. Um, flavorful. I love hot sauce. I eat hot sauce on um, lots and lots of things. He's been found a new one at a local well, oh, yes. place in Wisconsin called Bushel and Peck. Yes. They're, they have a whole line of hot sauce and it's all made there. They do a lot of pickling, a lot of canning and stuff like that. And oh my word, uh, so good. Not since Cholula have I seen her get this excited about something in that arena. Yeah. Even and I want to try all their flavors. Hot. They've got like, I don't know, 10 or 15, probably like maybe not 15, but like 10 something. That's a lot. You know, different kinds of hot sauces. Admittedly, even though I don't eat a lot of hot, I mean, I like kimchi. I like some things thanks to my lovely wife. Like we had shawarma for dinner. Which is can be a little spicy. Um, I, yes. I thought the one from Bushel and Peck was a cherry bomb. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, I thought it it tasted good. It's smoky. Um, it's a little hotter than I would want to eat more than just a little dab of, personally. But uh, for hot sauce, it was definitely flavorful. Um, this smells like a combo of Louisiana hot sauce and oh yeah Tabasco. I definitely get the Louisiana hot sauce uh, when we used to make our wing sauce at. Um, the restaurant I owned, we that was our primary base ingredient. I love was, Louisiana hot sauce. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely. Uh, oh, it's got okay. So it's got. I mean, I like the ingredients. They're all natural. Um, garlic, habanero. Yeah, sugarcane vinegar. So it's sugarcane vinegar. It's like you know primary, one word there. Uh, together. Yeah, sure. salt, onion, garlic, lime, acetic acid. Did I say that right? Yeah. Acetic acid. Yeah, um, and citric acid. Uh, xanthan gum for thickener and uh, ascorbic acid. Oh, gotta have that ascorbic acid. Antioxidant. Gotta have that too. Everything's all natural, so. Well, I'm ready to try this. Are you ready to try it? You're a little scared. Here's here's the thing. We're gonna do a finger I'm test first because you know get a just a pure form. Then we've got a couple of potato chips here because we weren't sure what else to put it on. Uh, just to give it a, a vehicle for the chip might affect the taste. We want to try it. By itself first. Um, I'm going to shake it one more but time. My rule in life is try anything twice. So we're going to do it at least twice. We've got an extra chip on hand to do it a third time just in case. Can we pour it in like the lid? No, because then it'll get on there. So we'll just have to. I'll let you do it. Just Yeah, I was going to say just have to do it yourself and just. Careful. Not a lot, but. All right. Cheers, Cheers before, before you your... lick. Spicy. Okay. Yep, that starts up hot. It's a little too hot for you. I, I got water. That was dumb. I should have grabbed milk or something. <laughs> the water's just going to swish it around. That's too hot for you. I already know it's too hot That's for you. That's a bit, um, but Woo! for the show, I'm going to... I went like insane. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to you know, go back for a second. Be careful. It comes out really fast. Yep, I'm being, I saw what happened to you. So I'm... All right. This is, just so you know, I'm not... That, that I just did a little tiny bit on my finger. That's a lot more than what was on my finger. So. Mm-hmm. I'm not eating <laughs> this whole thing. Oh, no. Well, dogs get a chip. It's good. Yeah, too hot for me. It's got um, chili pepper like flakes in it. Um, The nice thing about that first bite... 
before the chip is the burn didn't last very long. Whereas your cherry bomb is, is not as hot as that, to be oh, honest. Oh, no, it's not. Mm -mm. Um, uh, I like it. But I... It'd be good yeah. on eggs. I mean... We need some more tents. For, you know, if my wife likes it, I trust her opinion because she likes hot sauce. It's got a good flavor. I'm very mediocre about it. It's got heat to it. I mean, it's a hot sauce. It should have heat to it. I'm trying to figure out what that extra, what the, the, what's still lingering. I mean, there's still heat there. It's dwindling fairly quickly, so it's not like it's a long burn, but mm -hmm. I don't know what that. Come on, Chip. It makes, it's make, it makes the heat go away, honey. Oh, yeah, I just, I was not going to drink water. I wasn't going to fall into that trap. I don't know what that lit, what, I, do you taste the habanero? I don't know what habanero tastes like, or what the actual flavor is. I mean, is. habaneros are hot. It's probably the Naga Halokia chili pepper. But I mean, like, if you eat a jalapeno... I'm saying that wrong. There's a there's a specific flavor that a jalapeno has, aside from the heat. It's like the that green. I enjoy. It's the green. You're but tasting the green in it. Yeah. This is... Does a habanero have the same kind of thing? No, habaneros are, like, uh, smaller, and they're, like, um, orange. But does it have a... No, but I mean, does it have a separate flavor outside of the heat? I mean... I just can't place with that. Flavor. Habaneros are hotter than jalapeno, so I don't normally eat, like... I mean, I'll eat habanero, like, flavored stuff. Habaneros usually go well with, like, sweet things, so that's why you see, like, pineapple mango habanero, habanero or yeah. mango habanero. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it just, it's... To me, it doesn't have, like, a strong flavor. Like, I'm not like, oh, that's a habanero. I'm more like, oh, that's a really spicy pepper. See, because I like um, fruit-based salsas. I'm not big on salsa to begin with, but, but any of them that have fruit in it, I prefer over just the regular. Yeah. Like, tomato and whatnot. So I really enjoyed this. I it does like linger, know, you know. Yeah, I like it's pretty much gone food. now, you know. Like I mean, it's I can still get a little bit, but it, for the most part, it's it's dissipated. So it's yeah. It's my tongue is still short. like you know warm. I also ate like a big. You ate a, a lot more than I did, but um, that's good. I so, like it. I don't know if Stevo came up with it or if he's just marketing somebody else's thing. Or no, he... I think he said that. Oh right. I mean, it's made at, at a place in Texas. It says, well, it's distributed by Hot Sauce Depot, Keller, Texas. I think in his video. Oh, Keller? Interesting. We'll right. talk about that later. Keller, barely know The Oh. So, Anyways, like, I think doing? he was saying that he, uh, yeah. He helped with the I think the so. He said he created it. it. He said he wanted a really flavorful, uh, not just hot sauce you know because sometimes you just eat it just to kill yourself like with well, it but my, uh, the guys, i don't want to die when i'm eating this the guys from the the podcast were talking about how um patrick had bought the uh hot ones mm. 10 sauce pack and he was talking about how the bomb one that everybody always says is super hot and not good he said was just terrible like it was hot for the sake of being hot and there was nothing good about it see it that's not good. fun yeah. So why why would you want to eat it if there's... That's why I never understood hot food to begin with. Yeah. Because I always thought people were just, like, trying to get hot for the sake of hot. No, I, I have, like, liter, like legitimately enjoy, like, spicy food. Like, I, I feel like it's more enjoyable. That also, it's also filling, more filling. That's what you had found out, that that capsaicin will make you feel full Yeah, your faster. stomach's like, oh. So, I'm on fire. you know, multi-purpose. I mean, I, I like some... Some spicy things, but this for me, like if I was going to say one out of ten, and granted this is skewed a little because I'm not a fan of hot sauce, I pro I don't even know if I should give it a rating because it's not really fair. I, I, I'll i put it halfway. I'd give it a five just yeah. because. Yeah, well, I don't know what to base it on because like, um, you know, I, I do like, like Cholula, it's hotter than Cholula. Um, I really enjoy Cholula because Cholula has a really good flavor. Um, that cherry bomb one that I've had, I'm telling you, is so good. That one is, a smoky is, flavor. I, I enjoyed. Um, so, yeah. If I was going to put it in a category with the stuff that I thought it tasted like, right? So Fair comparison, yeah. Yeah, like I think it tastes like um, Louisiana hot sauce, smells like Louisiana hot sauce. It's in that kind of category. Um, 
I love Louisiana hot sauce, but this is like right up there with it. So it's got more heat than Louisiana hot sauce um, and a little bit more flavor, I think. So yeah, I would give it on a scale of Tabasco because I don't like Tabasco, but I'll eat it if it's the only thing that's, that's there. what I used to eat when I was a kid. To, I guess, Louisiana hot sauce. Uh, I would give it a like a nine. Wow. Yeah, because I, I feel like it's... It's a... That's I feel like it's number. actually better than Louisiana hot sauce, but yeah, oh. I don't know what my scale range is, but huh. yeah, right. I would definitely try it. I, I, like I said, I think it's like a, an upscale, maybe Louisiana hot sauce. Interesting. Yeah. It's got a little more flavor to it. Good job, Steve-O. Yeah. I dig it. Good job. I dig it. All right. Yeah. Well, this has been an interesting, uh, sinister snack. <laughs> so. It was sinister because it was spicy. And Bailey finally came to join us here. He was like, I want to be on camera, too. He's looking at me like... Give me five, buddy. High five. High five. All right. One, two, three, All right. Let's see you guys.